all the objects in the environment which are useful to men and have a value are called resources only when man comes to know the use of a thing or substance it becomes a resource types of resources natural resources human resources human made resources based on origin biotic abiotic based on utility renewable non renewable based on level of development potential developed or actual based on distribution localized ubiquitous based on ownership individual national community international natural resources natural resources are the free gifts of nature and can be consumed directly from nature without much of processing the land we live on the water we drink and the air all are considered as natural resources human resources human resources refer to the human beings both qualitative and quantitative who possess skills and knowledge to make wise use of natural resources better quality of people will contribute to proper utilization of resources thus human beings play an important role in resource development human made resources human made resources are those resources which are created by man using his skill and knowledge man has created a wide range of valuable goods like buildings monuments technology hybrid variety of seeds painting institutions etc biotic resources biotic resources are those resources which are obtained from the biosphere like plants animals and human beings abiotic resources abiotic resources are derived from non living things of the environment like rocks minerals mountains gases etc renewable resources renewable resources are those resources which can be reproduced and regenerated in nature within a given period of time their availability is unlimited and they are inexhaustible such as wind energy and solar energy non renewable resources non renewable resources are those which cannot be renewed or regenerated immediately with the rapid consumption they can get exhausted for example minerals once utilized cannot be replenished or regenerated quickly and are exhaustible potential resources potential resources are those which exist in a region but are not fully developed due to inaccessibility and inappropriate technology these resources can be developed in the near future with the development of technology for example rajasthan has potential for the development of solar and wind energy but it is not fully developed actual resources actual resources are those which are fully surveyed and well estimated in terms of utilization with the available technology the damodar coal fields in india alluvial soil of northern plains and oil fields of assam are examples of actual or developed resources localized resources resources which are confined to certain parts are called localized resources like coal and petroleum ubiquitous resources resources which are widespread all over the world are called ubiquitous resources like water air land etc individual resources are those which are owned privately by individuals for example a plot of land a car etc national resources are those which belong to the people of a nation and lie within the political boundaries and territorial waters of a country for example rivers minerals forests etc community resources are those which belong to the community of people for example in rural areas people share common wells ponds and in urban areas parks picnic spots community halls etc international resources are those which lie beyond the territorial waters of a country in open seas and oceans 
that are regulated and managed by international institutions. No single country can utilize these resources without the permission of the international organizations. Mineral resources, fisheries, etc. are some examples of international resources. Conservation of resources Resource conservation refers to judicious and careful use of resources for a sustainable development. With the rapid growth of population, urbanization and industrialization, there has been an increased demand and consumption of resources. This has led to over-exploitation and depletion of resources. To prevent misuse, over-exploitation and depletion, the conservation of resources is necessary. Sustainable Development Development of the resources should be done without damaging the environment and the needs of present generation should not be compromised with those of the future generations. This is known as sustainable development. We, the children of India, can join hands to conserve our valuable natural resources by preventing wastage, saving every drop of water, growing trees, using alternative fuels to reduce pollution, not disturbing habitats of animals, not polluting our water bodies, controlling deforestation.